uh, hello. First, apologizing. This video will probably be up at like 11. I don't know, it's 10 now. And I don't even have a good excuse for having a plate. I just forgot um, until now. But, you know, a video is better than no video. So, this week's topic is about coping with family get togethers for like Christmas and the holidays. I actually have a lot of issues with that. It's not. <laughs> It's not a fun time for me. Um, what I do right now probably isn't the best solution. Um, but so first explaining kind of what my issues generally are. Um, I have my dad's grandma who is, I barely see her anyway, but I'm not really sure how she's coping with it pretty well, I guess, but it's kind of awkward with her. So. I just kind of live through that, um, and I think the hardest times is probably when I'm at my mom's grandparents' and grandparents' house. So my grandma and grandpa there are. Uh, let's see, my grandpa for a while refused to acknowledge that I had transitioned. Like he didn't use my name at all. That was definitely a very hard time. Um, I didn't correct him at the time with the names and pronouns, which I probably should have done. I never really sat down and talked to him just because he's not the talking type. And I think you get that a lot with grandpas. So, I guess with grandpas, usually you just gonna, kinda gotta get them time, and give them time. So, cause what happened with my grandpa was I think the rest of my family uh, started using uh, my name, my proper name and pronouns pretty consistently and he just sorta joined the bandwagon. Um, so he's working on that now. And then my grandma, she was, um, you know, she wanted to be of help pretty early on, but I think the issue with her is when she tells stories. I mean, she does mess up quite a bit because they don't see me very often. Um, <clears throat> but the issue with her is that when she tells stories, I don't think she even really tries to use the correct name and pronouns. And also my cousins are generally up at my grandparents' house, and even though, I mean, my family tries to correct them, it's very, very hard, and they also give a lot of embarrassing, or ask a lot of embarrassing questions, you know, really awkward questions, like, are you a boy or a girl, or, you know, you look like a boy, things like that, um, and those I generally ignore, I think that's probably the best thing you can do, you can ignore them, kind of push them to the side, not the kids, the questions, <laughs> um, and then ask their parents or something, and say, hey, could you, you know, try to help your kids out with asking those questions, because it's very awkward for me. Um, my aunt and uncle are pretty, they caught on pretty quickly, actually, and they're doing really well with the uh, pronouns, but now I'm going to tell you what I generally do when I'm at my grandparents, which is what you should not do in family situations. I get very moody and grouchy and angry, and I kind of sit on my computer and I don't talk to anyone, and that isn't just because of the pronouns, it's because it's a very small house and with my cousins there there's a lot of people in it it's very claustrophobic and it just it's just a lot it's just too much I mean I'm an only child so I'm used to things being pretty quiet besides the dog so being in a small house like that with that many people is just really hard for me uh, so the best thing I think anyone can do is with adults correct them if they're struggling to accept it I wouldn't correct them, but I would definitely talk to them, and then once they do start saying, okay, you know, I'll try to use the correct name and pronouns, then you can correct them. Also, some people prefer not to be corrected. I know my mom didn't want to, and that's, you know, if they mess up a lot, you might want to correct them every now and then, but otherwise, you know, just leave them to getting the hang of it. So, yeah, it's... It's hard for me to give advice on the situation just because I'm not dealing with it very well myself right now. But hopefully that'll change over time. We'll see.